With us now is Alice Gaynor, a CBS New York anchor and reporter who covered the trial since it began back in April. She was in the courtroom at the moment the historic verdict rather, was announced. Good morning to you. Good morning. I have to ask where your attention was focused. Was it the defendant or the jury in the midst of that verdict being read? So I have to back you up for a moment. The judge came in around 4.14 and said, I'm going to give the jury a few more minutes and then I'm going to dismiss them at 4.30. So everyone in the courtroom is thinking, we're going home for the day. Court usually ends at 4.30. He was giving them the option if they wanted to work late till 6 p.m., but we're thinking they're going home. So 4.30 comes and goes, and I'm thinking, why haven't we been dismissed yet? Mm. The judge comes in, and normally, if there's a note from the jury, there's a buzzer in the courtroom. We didn't hear a buzzer go off. He says, I have a note from the jury. The time stamp, 4.20 p.m. We, the jury, have reached a verdict. We would like 30 more minutes so that we can fill out the forms. And there was an audible gasp in the courtroom. Not because there was a verdict, we were waiting for that, but because we thought they were being dismissed for the day. Wow. So after about 30 minutes, the jury came in. And prior to that moment, I was watching the defendant, the former president, through binoculars. <laughs> I was in the courtroom, but we're sitting behind him and they have monitors up in the front of the room so you can actually see the defense table, the prosecution table, and the judge. And he was sitting there with his eyes closed. That's what he's done throughout most of the trial. So that was a little surprising. Mm. The jury came in and they cut the video feed. So we didn't have a view of his face mm. as the foreperson read that verdict. But I was talking to courtroom sketch artist Jane Rosenberg. She said she actually had a good view of his face she saw him look at the jury foreperson, shake his head when that first guilty came in, and then he sat there with his eyes closed. And all you could hear when the verdict was read was the furious typing of journalists in the room, about 60 of us in there. Prior to that, I heard court officers telling members of the public behind me, no outbursts of any kind, so people were told, you know, keep wow. quiet, and it was very silent in that moment. I did have a view of the former president as he was exiting the courtroom. I was sitting very close to the center aisle. When he got up and turned around, he reached for his son, Eric Trump's hand. I don't know if he's trying to shake his hand. It was a, a little bit awkward. Turned around. The expression on his face was that expression you see in the Georgia mugshot. Mm. It was exactly what I thought in that moment. And he was a little bit red faced and he was sweating and mm. he exited the courtroom. And I thought he's made such a deal of the temperature in the courtroom, which at times it was cold, but it was also very warm at times. The temperature wow. yesterday was fine. So he was definitely red faced and sweating as he exited the courtroom. Wow, he won't like that description. I mean, being in the marble halls of a court of justice like that has to weigh on you eventually, no matter who you are, no matter how camera ready you are, no matter how poised you are normally. So that's an incredible moment to be witness to. And I just want to point out another journalist, before we knew there was a verdict, had turned to me and said, I wonder why he's in such a great mood. Because when we came back in the courtroom thinking the jury was going to be dismissed, he seemed to be in a really great mood. I heard that so, from other reporters, mm -hmm. that it looked like before the uh, verdict was read that he seemed to be in a, in a pretty good yeah. mood, probably thinking that they hadn't reached a verdict yet. Right? Had, it all happened so fast. You had to right? hear the word guilty, though, 34 times. Yeah. Each Four. individual count Every read out. How do you so rule? One, guilty. Right? Brilliant description, Alice. Alice Gaynor. Really Thanks nice. Thanks so much for being here with us.